Um, if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Booger. It's my kitchen. That makes it Booger's Kitchen. Um, hi. We're going to do some steaks on the grill. And I have some Brussels sprouts. So I usually do it in a cast iron pan on the grill. It's starting to rain, so I don't want to stand out there with this going on. On the side burner, you know. So I said, well... I've never done them in the active fry, so let's throw it in there. Um, before I start, let me just tell you. I don't work for active fry. I'm not trying to sell you an active fry. Active fry has not contacted me. They have not sent me an email, nothing. Not even a case of beer for doing all this. So, I'm not trying to sell you one. I'm just telling you, I love it. And it does all kinds of stuff, not just french fries. So, I'm just showing you what it does. And having a beer with you while we're doing it. You guys ready? Anyways, I'm going to tell you what you need. Uh, of course, the Brussels. They're not the baby ones. They're the bigger ones. So I cut them in half. The smaller ones I left whole. There's only a couple of them. Um, but, you know, you got to cut the bark off the end of it. It's like a piece of wood. Cut that piece off and then cut them in half. So that's four cups of them, which is two two. I think it was a pound, so two pounds, I think. Who cares? And I've got a red onion that I sliced up. Not, I mean, I, I sliced it up, but not too thin. Because uh, onions cook really fast in there. Um, garlic, cloves. There's probably, probably six cloves in there. And they weren't big. The big ones I cut in half, like, they're, they're chunks. It's t trust me, it's good. Um, I have leftover bacon from this morning like five slices so I cut them up in pieces okay and then we get some kosher salt which is probably a half a teaspoon I don't want to add too much salt because bacon salty and on top of that usually I cook bacon in my pan first and then I use the grease from the bacon and fry this up but the bacon's already cooked so and I saved my bacon grease so I'm just going to put a little bit of bacon grease in there I'm not trying to be a supermodel. I don't care. Don't say it's unhealthy or it's fattening. I don't care. It's good. So, bite me. Anyways, my seasoning, my favorite seasoning, is the Badia Complete Seasoning stuff. If you can't find that anywhere, get it online. I'm telling you, it's freaking shit. Pepper. And, um, chicken broth. I've got a cup there, but I make my own chicken broth. You put a... Chicken bouillon, or, you know that Goya chicken flavor stuff? That'd work too, and a little bit of water. Um, so, let's uh, focus on that. Let's do that, okay? Cheers. Alright, you guys ready? First thing you do is make sure your clamp is clamped down. Because I forget that sometimes, and when I pour my shit out, the thing... Oh, anyways. So, first thing we're going to do is just to show you... I don't usually use this, but just to show you how much bacon grease I'm going to use is a half a spoon of that, okay? Just to get things started. Remember the old days? Everybody would save their lard and grease and that's what they cooked with and they lived till they're 120 years old. So, you know, okay? Alright, let's put the onions in there. And this is how I do active fry. I just put all the shit in there. Why not? And here's the garlic. See? See how big they are? Well, some of them. It's so good. If you like garlic. If you're not crazy about garlic, mince it. Alright. Bacon. Let's put that along with the bacon grease so it's got a little juices going. It's going to look packed at first, but it can handle it. This thing can handle a lot more than you think. Jesus. Okay. Okay. So we got that. Let's put some salt. I don't think it's too much, but we'll see. You, you can always add more salt, but if you got too much salt at the beginning, that's going to suck. And there's that seasoning. It's so good. Uh, if you don't have this, like, put whatever, Italian seasoning, you know, figure it out. Just... Explore. Put some shit in there. And some pepper. We like it a little kinky. If that's a word. Not kinky. Put your mind out of the gutter. The broth is going to wait. First we're going to fry this up. Okay. Um, how many minutes? Oh boy. I'm going to put 20. 
I mean, let's see what happens. Okay? It's, I'm sure it's going to take longer than that, but I don't have to stand there and stir it and like I usually do on the grill outside. I'm just going to let it go. And I'm going to go do my chores. Alright, we'll be back. We're like past the halfway point. I've done my chores and let's check the texture. Look at how it's, my much has shrunk down, guys. I'm going to try to grab the biggest one there. And it's uh, still firm, but not too bad. It smells good. So at this point, I'm going to add some of this broth. I'm not sure yet. I don't want it soupy or anything. Okay, so let's do a half cup for now. Okay, let it go for another 10 minutes. It might need more, but we're going to check in 10 minutes. Okay. Timer's about ready to go, which is 20 minutes. So let's open it. We got 20 seconds left. Whoa. Okay. Well, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve is to keep the vegetables crispy. Because when I do it in the cast iron pan, you know, I'm just trying to fry it up and then and it's still you hear that? It still needs to cook a little bit more to me. Smaller ones. Let me taste that. Mmm. Wow. Okay. There's no juices on the bottom. So, what the hell? Let's put the whole thing in there. Still quite crunchy. So, 20 minutes is not enough, uh, apparently. So, let's do another 10 minutes. Let her rip. All right, move back to that. Okay. Look at that. So that's 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Bacon. Much better. I mean, oh, yeah, that's good. 30 minutes is good, you guys. Now, I'm going to tell you, let me get a spoon. It's uh, uh, the big ones, well, some of the Brussels floated to the top and it fried it, the outer thingamajigger, skin thingamajigger. And that's the only, like, you can you see this? Like, it's very fried. I mean, it tastes still good. But I'm kind of glad it did that because I like that when I do it in a cast iron pan. But that's the only thing that's negative about this. I might have had too much in there, so they float the burners back there, you guys. Can you see that? No. The burners back here. So when they rotate, it floats to the top, and when it gets close to that, it fries it pretty hard. So that's what happened there. But it didn't it didn't do it to all of them, just like a couple of them. But Let's taste it. That's so freaking hot. Can I? Let's let it cool. Let's get a beverage and let it cool, and then I'll bring it back. But there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Don't okay. dash. You guys ready to try it? It's still piping hot. Let's do this. Let me try garlic. Been dying for this. Mmm. 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 Yes. Mmm. Tastes good. I'm gonna grab a little one. That is delicious, you guys. And some bacon. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright. There it is. That's good. Very good. Alright, guys. Later, bye.